Hey guys, I'm just going to show you a quick Bible lesson we're doing today. Uh-oh, Everett has a broken heart. Um, we are talking about kind communication in our family during our Bible time. So our scripture verses for this week are these up here. It says, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. And then our second one is, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up. So today, I'm going to give each of them a little tiny sword, which is a push pin. And I gave them each a heart. Give Evangeline her heart back. Okay? And we're going to talk about words that have pierced our hearts like a sword. And then we also, Elin, went and got us some band-aids. And we're going to think of what words that would be like bringing healing to their hearts. So this is just a quick little Bible lesson we're doing just to talk about speaking more kindly to one another. We talked about what reckless means, how it's speaking rashly or without thought, without thinking about the consequences that'll come afterward. And yeah, so that's what we're doing this morning. I hate you. Oh, that's very mean to say, yeah. That could really pierce someone's heart. Go away. Oh, someone says, go away. Everett, what about you? Somebody says, I Everett, what about you? Somebody says, I really don't like you. I really don't like you. I see you. Really don't like what would you. something someone say that would really hurt your feelings? That actually happened before. Yeah, what did they say? You don't have to tell me who said it. Just tell me what they said. Mommy, you heard my feelings when I was when you said, what? I said to him, he said, don't say that. Um, well, that's just me correcting you. That's different than someone saying mean words on purpose. Mama, look, I do I know since somebody said, really, really, I hate you. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so now tell me, I'm going to give you some band-aids, and I want you to tell me what words people have said that build you up in your heart and bring healing to your Love heart. Love you. Okay. That, that makes our hearts feel good. What else, Everett? What has someone told you that made your heart feel good? Open your heart up, okay? When you put that on there. What, what has someone told you that made your heart feel good? Mama. Oh, we're silly today. Oh, I see. Yeah. What else? Besides I love you, what else could someone say? What if they hurt your feelings? What could they say to bring healing to your heart? <gasps> Me? Okay. I think, um... What? Hi. I like you. Oh, I like you. That's a good one. Can I put the pen? Yeah, put them in. What else could someone say to make your heart feel good, Elin? Besides I love you. Okay, when they're being sweet and playing. Everett, what about you? What makes your heart feel better? But I need a band-aid. When... Get that. When I win. No, what... Uh, okay, when they congratulate you. Okay, so now I just drew some hearts. I mean, some lines on their hearts. And they're going to write the verse, the first verse on this. Heart. And we're going to hang them up and so we can remember our scripture um, this week. And we have some reluctance because we had co-op yesterday. And today's our first day back to school after a long weekend. So I'm getting a little bit of resistance. People are like, I don't want to write. But you know what? We're at school, so we got to just do what we got to do. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get busy on that and see how quickly we can move through the rest of our day. We, kinda, we got a late start. It's already 10, 15. We should be do halfway through math by now, but we are not. So we're just going to roll with it, and it'll work out. Little um, Miss Boo Boo, <laughs> she's totally zonked out right here. She just falls asleep wherever. So, um, well, of course you are. And you. I know. I have clutter all over the schoolroom. It's driving me crazy, and hopefully by the end of this day I will not have that. Um, you can tell I'm like, ooh, I had a hard time waking up this morning. Got, I've been getting in bed late the last couple nights and uh, or last several. I need to quit doing that. Yes, I need to quit doing that because it's wearing me out and hmm, 
don't want to be cranky pants. So that's what's going on in our schoolroom.